This strategy could put a casino out of business. Today, we're simulating the three-point molly on a table that allows 100 times odds. We'll bet almost $2 billion, and the casino will barely get any of it. We're at a $5 table today because that's the only way I could maintain the fantasy of ever having a bankroll to play like this. Let's play the strategy through a few shooters and see what happens. We'll start out making a pass line bet for $5, and the point's gonna be five, so we add $500 in odds and a come bet, which moves to the eight. We add another $500 there and another come bet. That one's gonna move to the six, and we add odds on that. We hit our point, that pays $5 on the pass line and $750 on the odds. And there's a seven. So with a seven, since the point is off, the odds are not working. The odds follow the puck. So the odds will be returned to us and we're gonna lose the original come bets on the six and eight, which is a loss of $10. And of course we went on the pass line. All right, the point's gonna be five again. And we'll take our odds and our come bet, which wins with the 11. And I'll move to the eight, so we'll throw our odds there and make another come bet. And there's a seven, so everything loses except for that last come bet. All right, let's do another shooter. And this time the point will be four. And we hit it right away. So that's paying two to one. So that's $1,000 and then $5 on the original pass line. And our come bet's also gonna move to the four. Now in this case, we're not gonna add odds right away because our odds would not be working if we put them down right now because the odds follow the puck. So we'll wait until the next point is set before we put those $500 in odds on that four. We win on the 11. And the point's gonna be nine. Now we can put our odds down and make another come bet. That one's going to move to the 10. 11 does nothing for us, and unfortunately there's the 7 out. So we lost everything 15-15. We'll start out a new shooter. And this time the point's going to be 6. 3 loses the come bet. And that'll move to the 10. That'll be $1,000 we win on the 10, and another $5 for the combat. And we'll have an off and on situation there. We hit the 10 again, so three 10s in a row. That was pretty nice. And there's our seven out. So we lose four bets, we win $5 on the come, and I think that's enough for now. Let's look at the data. Okay, that's the strategy. Now I'm gonna simulate 100,000 sessions of this strategy. Each session will play for 10 shooters. Okay, the simulation is completed. We had eight and a half million throws, which is 85 throws per session. And that's basically what's always gonna happen when you run for 10 shooters, because each shooter is gonna average eight and a half throws. The total bet was a whopping $1.99 billion. And there's about 1.1 billion both won and lost. But look at this, the casino only took $281,000. That's a tiny part of the $2 billion bet. The house edge is 0.014%. That's just incredibly low. Let's take a quick detour and see what that could actually mean for the casino when they're running one of these tables. I had to see how bad this would actually be for the casino and what would it really mean to their profits. So I came up with this quick back of the envelope estimation and said, well, if the dealer's salary is $20 an hour and you have four dealers on the table, it's gonna cost the casino $80 to run the table. 
Now, of course, that's not including any of the extra expenses like, you know, security and the floor people and the management and all that kind of stuff. Let's assume they're doing 60 throws per hour. That's one throw per minute. And if you took that eight and a half million throws and divided that by the 60 throws per hour, you'd get 142,000 hours played. And that would be a total table cost of 11.3 million. The thing is that this would be one player per table. So even if we assume something like 12 players, we're at $947,000 to run this table and the house is only making $280,000. Even if you bump this number up and said, okay, well, maybe we can do 120. We can th throw the dice every 30 seconds. You're still way, way, way over. So I thought this was a kind of cool way to look at it. Okay, let's get back to the animation and look at the results. Overall, 44.8% of the sessions won money and the rest lost money. Let's see this in dollars. The most lost was 13,000, and the most won was a crazy $28,000. That winning session rolled for 195 rolls and won a bunch of odds on the fours and tens. I'll show you a little bit more of that later. Here's the histogram. Today our bins are $2,000 wide to account for the range of outcomes. It's interesting to see the long tails to the right. Great sessions can win a lot of money, but they're rare. And rather than reading out each number, I'll be quiet this time and let you see it for yourself. Now let's see the bankroll survival rates. This is a chart of the bankrolls at their worst during the session. 111 players never went below their starting bankroll. One in four never went below $2,000. And three in four never fell $5,000 below their starting bankroll. We have to get down to nine or 10,000 to cover 99% of the sessions. So if you're going to play 100 times odds, you need to have a hefty bankroll. Remember, you're going to max out at $1,515 for each shooter. That's $505 on the pass line and $505 each on two come bets. But given the simulation, you're almost certainly not going to lose that entire amount across all 10 shooters. Okay, let's look at the report card real quick and then I'll show you the spreadsheet. We simulated 100,000 sessions of 10 shooters per session. The house edge is a tiny 0.014%. 45% of the sessions won while 55% lost. Over 90% of the outcomes ranged between plus and minus $8,000. And a $9,000 bankroll has a 99% chance of surviving all 10 shooters. This is the spreadsheet that I use for logic checking the simulation. It's basically the output of the simulation, which is all programmed in Python, but it's formatted in a way that's easier for me to read. I include some summary statistics, but I think what's more interesting is that I show every single roll from a random selection of sessions. Plus I show the 10 best and the 10 worst sessions. You can see every throw of the dice, every bet made, won, lost, or even returned to the player. If you want the spreadsheet, it's available on the Patreon page. It does require a paid membership though. These videos take me a lot of time to make, anywhere from three to four hours per minute of video. So for anybody that wants to support me, I'm trying to find ways to give a little extra and make it worth your while. If you do sign up, I really appreciate your support and I'll continue adding to the spreadsheet so that there's more and more information with every simulation that I do. I'm having a lot of fun doing these videos and I couldn't be happier with the response from all of you. Thanks for watching and good luck at the table.